What's going on guys? Beasley Gamer here. Welcome to the channel and today we're going to talk about Uncharted 4's sales dropping in the UK. Now we don't have any pertinent information about the United States sales and whether or not they've dropped. More than likely they have. I couldn't imagine them selling 5 million copies of this game within two weeks. But the UK has relayed its latest sales chart information about Uncharted 4 and I want to talk about it now. I'll drop a link in the description. Why Uncharted 4's 78% sales drop isn't as troubling as it sounds. Now that sounds pretty troubling to me. Here's how it compares to other major releases. Physical sales for Uncharted 4 may have fallen by 78% in the UK last week, but that isn't as worrying as it might sound. In fact, it's actually pretty normal. According to the UK sales tracking company GKF Chart Track, sales of major releases typically drop off by around 70% during their second week with some games actually dropping by significantly more. Sales of Dark Souls 3, for example, which was the UK's top-selling game in April, actually fell by 80% during its second week. Fallout 4, a game which continues to place in the top 20 six months after release, also dropped by 80% in week two. The massive drops aren't too surprising when you consider the day one culture of the video game industry. Publishers regularly place a significant emphasis on pre-orders, which when successful can result in major first week sales that don't come close to being matched the week after. GTA 5, for example, sold an incredible 11.2 million units in its first 24 hours, but dropped by 83% during its week 2. The drop doesn't necessarily mean it won't continue to sell either. GTA 5 continues to place in UK's top 10 even today, almost 3 years after its release. And then there are games like Doom and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which following some concern in the run up to release, picked up positive word of mouth in the days after, resulting in much lower, more stable sales drops during week two. Other games with more mainstream appeal or a movie to help sales also benefit from shallower drops. Star Wars Battlefront, for example, which released amidst the hype of Star Wars The Force Awakens, dropped by just 52% during its second week. Here's how the physical UK sales of major games have dropped off during their second week. GTA 5, 83%. Dark Souls 3, 80%. Fallout 4, 80%. Uncharted 4, 78%. Halo 5, 78%. Metal Gear Solid 5, 78%, Street Fighter 5, 78%, FIFA 16, 74%, Batman Arkham Knight, 74%, The Division, 73%, The Witcher 3, 69%, Evolve, 66%, wow, that should have been 99%, Quantum Break, 64%, Far Cry Primal, 64%, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, 57%, Bloodborne, 55%, Star Wars Battlefront, 52%, Ratchet & Clank, 49%, Battlefield Hardline, 43%, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, 39%, and Doom, 35%. Doom is actually an awesome game. Uh, that's that's testament to how great the game is. That word of mouth actually has that game continuing to sell the way it does. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End launched on the 10th, and the game has already sold 2.7 million units, becoming the fastest selling first party game on PS4. So this is pretty normal. Now, until I read this article, I did not know that sales dropped off that steep of a hill after the first week, but it does seem pretty normal. And so for anyone who hears this news that Uncharted sales have dropped 78% in the second week, do not despair. This is a pretty standard industry norm. And with that information, let me know if you're playing Uncharted 4, or if you're playing any of the other games I mentioned other than Evolve. I don't want to talk about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, guys. I go through a lot of work making these videos, uh, and I'm not bitching and moaning about it. I'm just stating the facts. It is a dedication thing. I'm dedicated to this YouTube channel. I'm dedicated to you guys, and it does make my day when I see those thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and becoming a permanent member of the Beastly Gamer family. Please follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. I'm there for you guys 24 hours a day. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go. Let it go.